Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation, and this is Calculate It, a calculator roguelike that I'm excited to be checking out here today. You heard me right. It is what it sounds like. They turned the calculator app into a roguelike. Let's check it out. Out now on Steam. Dear God, what am I looking at? Choose a calculator. I'm going to start with... Let's start with a normal calculator and we'll work our way up. Choose a difficulty. Okay, we got an Ascension. Not available in this version. It's not out fully yet. I think it's an early access. Standard difficulty. Calculate the required numbers and win 20 rounds to win. Yeah, we can't do anything more than that. Uh, I'm not a math man. I will put that out there right now. So I'm hoping it's not just it's not just do math and we can do a little bit of roguelike witchcraft to uh, to cheese things you need the number 86 and we have 47 so why 47 it just randomly we randomly get that number i guess that's just gonna be the case like a times two is gonna put us in an awkward situation like a little bit higher than i'd like to be but what do we have here and what's the so we have we have two uses on all these buttons. We have four uses on this. Don't we just kind of want to know? Adds it used to a random button. I feel like we would just want to know what we're working with, right? All right. So I guess we'll go ahead and do a little bit of that. I feel like four button presses. Is that... Is that enough? Is that good? Is that bad? Add number of money to the number. Oh. Interesting. Calculates a square root of the current number. Boy. You buy a six. Wait, this is so much cheaper. Let's, let's buy that. That only costs three. You know what? Let's just say that's good enough for now, because then we can save some money. You need 69. Okay, okay, okay. We can work with that. Um, Unfortunately, yeah, we we really just need to subtract. Uh, Which, add number of money to number. I'm assuming that that can't be, we, we can't do like a minus and then we do the 13. So we're going to have to just subtract two numbers here. Like, I, there's nothing else to it. We maybe could have done, like, seven and, you know, so we wouldn't be using up our twos here, I guess. But, yeah. I feel like getting there in two turns is probably fine. Generates the needed number from last round. I like how cheap these are. Reverse the current number. That feels useful. Let's just get the cheap stuff. It looks like it's one of those uh, roguelikes that just fully randomizes the shop. Um, so yeah, we're out of twos. If we have 68, we could generate 69. But we, we just need... We mostly need minuses. Oh boy. I guess I could go for like a little bit of a meh. And then we could add. Do I not actually have this? It, it went up here, but it didn't go up here. I'm going to trust. Okay. A little bit messy. A little bit messy. Don't we just... I just... Give me more, more multiplies. Give me more minuses. Generate a random number in the range of 0 to 100. Rerolls the required number to a different one. Converts the current number to 25. Hmm. That's cheap. I'll take another divide. Eight bucks for a random feels awkward. It just doesn't it seem like we're just going to get into a situation where we just don't have the buttons and there's nothing I can do about it because I can't like re-roll the shop. Am I out of my mind? 
You need 44. Dude, you know what really sucks? If I generate the 45, I can't get the 44. I don't have any way to do it. <laughs> I don't have any way to do it. Um, so I guess we're just going to go for a flip flop into a plus three. Send. Please give me pluses and minuses. Please. Enough of this uh, shenaniganery, please. Okay. Adds 10 if you need more than 10 points to victory. And remain gift not. Okay. Um, <laughs> it calculates the remainder of the dividing the existing number by the selected number. Calculates the remainder of the dividing the existing number by the selecting number. Okay. Selected number. Oh, I'm so sorry. What the hell does it mean? I don't know. Let's find out. Another random there. Why not? Every click on the button takes two energy. This is evil. Um, so we can get the 44. But then what? We don't want to multiply by two, you know? I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. I should not have done that. So we got a we got ten. Oh. We could have also done that with here. That actually worked out really, really well. But that used up so much of my energy. Okay, thank you. Yes. Yes. Oh my god, I don't know, man. Hit the battery and hope. Okay, that's something. You need 56. I have... I can get two... I mean, add 10 if you... I mean, that seems really helpful. Like, so helpful that I'm like, do I really want to use it? God, I wish I had, like, a decimal so I could, like, you know, use my divides as multiplies or something like that. Or, like, you know. Oh, well. Okay. Because if I just plus... And I'm out of pluses already. That feels rough, but... I think I just have to, right? I do wish it changed the number down there. All right. Appends, oh, appends five to the beginning of the number. Converts the current number to, these are, I just, dude, could I, please, please give me a row of like, a plus minus multiply divide that's just always there that I could spend my money on. It just gets like, what if it was there? There was like a fixed row, but like every time you bought that one thing, it started to get more and more expensive. So it still encourages you to use this stuff. I don't know, man. This seems super good, but I also, I don't know what it, means fully I, i'm pretty sure it means add 10 if you need 10 subtract 10 if you need to subtract 10 this feels useful for how cheap it is i really want some low numbers i have no pluses or minuses i have no pluses or minuses nice that's so lucky. <laughs> That's so lucky. <laughs> uh, I'm buying the minus. Square root converts all twos in the number into fours. 
That is so specific. Whenever you buy a button for the first time, it gets two on it, which is kind of nice. I don't like, yeah, it's offering sevens as well that I don't really need. Could go all the way up to, um, we could get to 52. Add my money. And we're really close. You know, horse grenades and all that doesn't count. It's a lot. Give me pluses, give me minuses. I don't have the boutons. Add one to the current number. That. Now, here's the thing. This is the calculator game for when I was in school. It was such a fun game. It was called press plus one and then hit enter and then hit enter and then hit enter and just see how many times you can press plus before you get bored out of your mind. Uh, I'll take this. I'll take a reverse. Cut the first digits of the number if needed. That's, yeah. Absolutely. Calculates the remainder of the dividing, the existing number. There's a grammar mistake there. It's just... It, I think it makes some sense, but like there's a the grammar mistake is just making me lose my mind. Um, so last it was 67. I can't just subtract one is the issue. We need the opposite of an increment. Because otherwise we would go convert it to 25. We're in the right space if we convert it to 25. But not really. Right? We can cut it down to a 6. Cuts the first digit of the needed number down to a 6. I feel like that's gotta be workable okay <laughs> the question is how does it take the the decimals oh thank god oh boy I can dream is the other, another minus 10 we have plenty of sixes. It's not giving me the things I really want. We could get another reverse. Add cash. That I like that. Another reverse could be good. It's kind of expensive. These, I think, you know, we'll take them. I have a four. I'll hit the next round. You can't use multiplication. Okay. Um, that's... I mean, that's fine. I could obviously get there right now with a... I could just do like a divide by four and then increment, increment. But do I want to use all of that? Do I want to use all of that right now? I can't multiply. So I can't like go down to six... Multiply it by two increment. I can't. I can't do that. Yeah, I think I just. Since I see the answer, I think we just take it. Feels like a lot, but you know it's a boss battle. Oh my god. Let me have an addition, a subtraction, or a multiplication. Please increase the likelihood that they show up in the shop. It's all I want. It's all I want. And it's not giving me ones, twos, or threes. I will take another four at this point, though. But, like, yeah, I, I'm, just, I'm just going to run out of stuff. The increment I really like, though. Hmm. 
fine. I'll give you a freaking square root. Whoa. Oh, we're so close. We're so close. And yet. How do I do this? Because I can't add, I, I can't add two. I, I only have one increment. Oh, this is a nightmare to be so close. 13, we could, we could cut it down to three. Oh boy, we're so close and yet so far. I think I might have to just desperate times, desperate measures. Oh God, it's rough. I can't divide it by two. I can't divide it by two. I mean, it's just going to give me the closest. So, I mean, I suppose could like, do I really want to square root this and waste an increment? Cause this would, it would round to, it would round to two, right? Or is it, it's not, it's a round up, does it? Yeah. I mean, it's just so much. Too many button presses for that, man. Too many freaking button presses for that. For something so close. Oh my lord. Ha! Uh, the random was a lifesaver as well. I actually think that the nine's really good too. So we could do 25 plus plus. And then we're, we're there. But wait, wait, magic. Now that, now that's hot. Now that's hot. Increment I like, I do want to, I think I want to get the other multiply. I'm liking this. What destroy the selected button, charge a random button or create a random button with an energy. I need five. Okay. Uh, I can just go for 25 divided by five already and we're, we're there. I can also multiply by zero and then append five to the... No, because then it's 50. Never mind. Can I destroy a button that I've already... Yeah, you can destroy a button that you've already used up. I really should have... Oh, well. Hmm. Okay. Do I really just want to go... Oh, hold on. I think it's worth. I think it's worth, right? Oh, plus. You take it. Cut is really good, too. Rerolls the required number to another... Non another another number appends one to the current number sure yeah when you buy a new one you get you get a little bit more can't use this in here you need 34 i don't know what got a plus one but like if it doesn't have anything we might as well just boop. Pens one, no. Generate a random number. You know, that's not like far off of being a good choice. Oh, is that what we got? What am I doing? It's just, why would I have done that? Can't believe I've done this. 
Um, oh, we can't mult. Because I, I was gonna say we could append to up, up to eleven, multiply it by three. We're at thirty-three plus one plus one, but we or plus one, but we can't. Uh, we could cut the first multiply by four. Hip hip hooray. Then we're we're so close to losing all of our numbers. We are so close to losing all of our numbers. Uh, we could 11 times four and hit the near. I don't love that. I don't, I don't love that. Multiplies. I think it's just going to have to be good enough, though. Twos to four is not relevant. We could cut. Cut, and then times four. I, I just think that we're going to really want to use this in the future. Let's just hope we get another one. Just cross your fingers, hope for another one, man. I think we take the four. I actually don't hate the square root. Don't need any more zeros. You don't see some button labels. Oh, this sucks. That... <laughs> It shouldn't matter, but it 100% does. I... Come on, man. I didn't know this was going to be a thing. Do I go... I... Okay. I might just lose here. 53... Do the plus plus like that? I know this is the uh, the plus ten if we need it thing. Okay, we could add cash. We could add cash. Go. Up. Yeah, just with the things that we can kind of see here. Plus, what I just know we have. I think we just say, okay, hands off. That's good enough. Send it. Ooh, a so there's a another plus. That's a very expensive one, but I'll take it. I love the plus 10, the plus minus 10. We'll take the plus. And we can't get anything else. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. I, just, I don't think I really want to use two pluses here. I guess we go for the plus 10, plus, plus 4. I mean, I'm trying to see if there's a reason I should have done it a different way. Maybe. All right, come on. Come on. Give me a good shot. Okay, I love the cut. Appends 1. to the beginning. I mean, we have one of those already. We have two of those already. Three for a reroll of the goal feels good enough to me. And I think I'm going to just buy another cut as well. Maybe even a... No, don't buy a six. Don't buy a six, you idiot. Next. He's a gamer. Some of them are just... It's, it is just like, boy, hopefully you have... Hopefully you have the right number because then you're just you're cooking. You're cooking. I think buying another reroll is a good call. All right. You need 71. 88. Um 
It's a little bit more awkward than I would have wanted. Ah. So we can cut the first number. We can get down to one pretty easily. <laughs> Calculates the remainder of the dividing the existing number by the selected number. Could reverse it to 88 instead. I'm I'm really considering hitting the re-roll here. Two. Okay. Okay. Ooh. See, this sounds great, but it's like we'd have to divide by 11, and we actually don't have a lot of ways down. I don't have the square root anymore. I do have a square root. Uh, use the fours don't care yeah this one's actually weirdly tricky i could just multiply by zero and then we could we could get there we could i could really i can really get there from that i'm just doing it i guess not appends one to the current wait hold on Never mind. Rerolls the required. No, we're not doing that. Do we just do the plus one? No. Oh, shoot. What have I done? It's so silly. We could plus plus six square root it. We know that works and we have a because we have a lot of sixes. This was not the best way of doing it. Not the best way at all, but it did work. Don't think we need any more cuts. I'll take another four. Because we have only two rounds left, theoretically, right? We're going into 19, I think. So what would the point be, right? We have a reverse. I'll keep the plus 16. I. I think, I think this is fine. Oh, it's so, so sad how close it is. And yet, um, I guess I could cut it. I could do another multiply by zero business. You know what? <laughs> I just wanted to press that and see what happened. Okay. That was not the answer. Reverse the current number. No. We have no subtract. We can multiply. We can cut to... I was thinking we would go down to two, but then... But then what? I mean... Can't we just... Am I, am I out of my mind? Can't we just square root? No, right? No, because it rounds. It's weird to do a square root because it's like that kind of doesn't that kind of defeat the purpose of what a square root is that it just rounds, but because we don't really want to go to two because we could have gotten to two already. There has to be and there has to be a better way. There has to be a better way. Do I really have to go for this and then square root it? There has to be a better way. I, I, but I don't think there is. All right. 
There probably there, there probably was. Okay, so we don't need another cut, probably. I think that the near is really good. I think another reroll for four is worth it. The price is worth it. An increment is worth it. Uh, and then we'll keep this so we have the plus eight. You can't use ones. Okay. Um... Oh boy, you would think this feels like it would be it would be close. Wait. 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 It's easy. Enter endless mode in calculator? I don't think I want to enter endless mode in calculator. Uh Man, they they have just gone and done it. So what the heck is the engineering calculator here? I'm not now. Convert the current number to zero. It's kind of nice. It's basically just a two two button presses for something you'll probably use often. Reverses the current number. So yeah, some of the, some familiar stuff. Wow. So it's all about like just literally adding numbers to the on top of like it is very, very awkward here. All right. Steel calculator. It just has it's like the normal calculator, except with bombs instead of battery. Old calculator. Turn all convert all ones into fives, fours into sevens, increment, decrement. This is some shenanigans, man. I think I am good on calculator for right now. I think I'm ready to to say uh, I'm I'm good for the moment. <laughs> it's it's a neat idea. They absolutely did make a calculator into a roguelike. I think that there could be some really fun additions, though. I wish there was like maybe some more like passive elements or something like that. Um, and like passive upgrades and things where, I don't know. I, I think that maybe like the standard calculator could be like every blank waves, you get one more of all of these or something like that as a passive effect of it. You know, like maybe you get less money, um, as well to go with it or something like that. But I, I think there'd be something fun with that concept as well. Like, you will routinely get more of these back, or like, acids where it's like, whenever you, I don't know, whenever you use a battery, you get more, or like, whenever you add, the, the normal calculator could have something simple as like, whenever you add one use to something, you add an extra use for free, like, that kind of thing. I think that could be really, really fun to uh, also like, sand off some of the RNG edges as well, like, it's a calculator, like, I don't know why am I balancing a calculator, but, um... You know what I'm, you probably know what I'm saying though. It's like adding a little bit of extra strategy zest to it. So it isn't just like, if you don't get the, um, the symbol you need in the shop, you just lose, you know, based off of a current number showing up. Obviously there's lots of ways to arrive at a certain number, but sometimes there's not. And that situation would probably be relatively frustrating, but it's a freaking calculator roguelike. Okay. It's like, I think I got it for two bucks or something, two or three bucks on sale right now. It's out now on Steam. You'll know if you want to play this game. Thank you, thank you. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.